we are at Mockingbird Manor at 4417 Northwestern in Oklahoma City. This is where I have my little antique booth and I thought it would be fun to take you guys on for a tour. So let's go in. So here we are in my space at Mockingbird. I thought it would be fun to show you a few of my favorite things that I've found and have put in my space here at Mockingbird. Let's start with this cute cocktail shaker. We have fun tags, custom with English tags, because I love branding, as you guys know. Fun little cocktail shaker. I'm very into vintage barware. So we also have found a, um, this is probably a faux, bone handled um, wine opener. Kind of a fun thing. Lots of blue and white. Blue and white is very, very, very popular. We've got some pillows. This one is a tobacco leaf petty 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 point needle point. I usually stop in about once a week and buff and puff things, straighten things, rearrange stuff, and every now and then I break something. I'm gonna take it over here. No damage, but we will relocate this now. This is my favorite candle in the whole wide world. Wish you could smell it. Yeah, there you go. And the jar is beautiful too. The flickering light in that tortoise shell blown glass. Here we go. Gonna rearrange some stuff. Always keep a little greenery on hand, just for display purposes. Pieces like this. Um, rustic turned wood vase are really interesting. You could flip this upside down and actually use it as a pedestal or a stand if you wanted to um, highlight something or set a buffet table. So I think I'm, that's what I'm going to use it for right here. I'm going to put this up on that. Faux bread. Oh, saucers like this make great drink coasters. I like uh, vintage brooms because they add texture so this would be cute on the coffee table. I feel like it needs someplace cute to, I feel like I need to highlight it on something. You know what, here, let's set it on, let's set it right here. And of course you can always grab a copy of my book if you're in the neighborhood. I signed those. Let me take you and show you the space I share with my mom. This room is half mine and half Mimi's. Mimi's gonna also talk to us today a little bit about some blue and white stuff, but we're gonna do that in a little bit. Um, in case you would like a fun styling tip, you can always take a felted wool animal head and uh, tuck it in your pillows. I think this is funny. My mom doesn't. We have some great throws, um, fun chandelier. Um, very popular and on trend white plaster chandelier. It's fabulous. Small boxes. Sometimes it's hard not to go shopping for myself. It's on the lookout for texture, quality. Things like that. Let me take you someplace else and show you a little behind the scenes on something that's gonna be happening here really soon. Always have to shop a little bit. We're gonna go up some stairs. Here we are in a little space. A little known fact, this was actually the first space that I had at Mockingbird for a little bit. And then when the room opened up downstairs, I jumped to take that one. But I am going to be getting a new little space in this, in this super secret closet. We will open these doors and we're gonna clean this out. And I'm going to have a little um, room for textiles. I'm gonna put pillows, dust ruffles, um, curtains, things like that that I find. I'm also going to, things that I've had in stock for a while, I'm gonna bring those up here and um, also use this space as a little 
clearance area or little markdown space. So that will happen soon and we'll have to film another video when, when we get there. While we're up here though, just have a look around. It's really cute. Look at the layered rugs. The balls in the, that bread bowl is beautiful. Look at the wavy lines on that. Really exquisite. The prices are great here too, especially if you're in a near neighboring state, if you're in Dallas or Arkansas and you can drive over for a day or two. I feel like Oklahoma City has really competitive antique prices. So there's a treasure for everybody. And then another thing that makes Mockingbird so cute is this little crazy duplex that um, it's in. So you can see this used to be a little kitchen and the details in the building are just so neat. Even the little uh, divots. I just love old architecture and like, paint the inside of your drawers a color. Pro tip. Blue and white is hot, hot, hot. Oh, look at these little things. Vintage pot de creme from Portugal with little fruit on top. That lamp is cute. It's so fun. You just never know what you're gonna find. 